Hello and welcome back to Scarving in the Atlas. Alright, and we're here today down on our lovely little uh, water area down the ramp um, behind that cliff there is where our, my base is. Um, yeah, today's episode is just going to be a little bit of a, I guess, shipbuilding episode. Um, I need a bigger boat because I've got my tiny little boat, it's around the corner as well, I'm too far to actually see it. But um, my little boat called Puddle, the sloop that I have, is just too small. I need something a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm not sure how big I really want to go though. Uh, when I look at the skills, I mean the intermediate shipwright gives you a schooner. Now I don't know how big a schooner is because I've never built one. Um, but is it going to be big enough to take several animals? Uh, not sure yet. So I'm probably going to build that one first. Uh, so if you're wondering where this is, you're in seamanship. And you follow the tree down until you're actually into the intermediate step. What does that do? Yeah, that as well. Um, yeah, so to open up the ship right, uh, it is somewhere back near the start, I think. No, it's none of those. Construction. Oh, yeah, there it is. So to be able to get the seamanship, you first have to unlock the construction and mercantile. And the construction and mercantile is back in your survivalism. And that's how you eventually get into your seamanship, follow the basics of sailing down, and you can get the various different sails. And the early on you can actually start building those same ships that you had by building a small shipyard. So I'm going to want to build a schooner. And it requires just a shipyard, hopefully a small one, that'd be nice. Anyway. Uh, how do I get rid of that? Well, we'll refresh that anyway. So yes, shipwright. We've got a small shipyard. I don't see a medium shipyard along the way. So I'm first going to build a small shipyard and then we're going to get into building a schooner. Alright, so what is required? Uh, close the inventory and let's have a look. Uh, of course, it's probably actually in a crafting item. Shipyard. Okay, small shipyard is built at the smithy. We need fibre, stone, thatch and wood. Um, seeing as I don't really want to be walking up and down the hill back to my base, I'm going to build a small little crafting station down here and we're going to get stuck into building. So, I'll go and farm up some materials and we'll see you soon. Okay, farmed up a whole bunch of materials and we'll drop ourselves off here. Oh, super slow. Lots of wood. Bunch of thatch. Other stuff is in there. I should now be able to build a small shipyard. Okay. Bring it into my stuff. And the main thing you want to be concerned about here is you don't want this to be built in the shallows. If you build on the shallows, there's a chance that when you launch your boat, it will not survive. Alright, that looks plenty deep down there. Okay. I wonder if I can build a little jetty off the end of that. That would be nice. We want to build a schooner. So we need fibre, metal, thatch and wood quite a significant amount of fibre, thatch and wood, the metal not so much. Alright, let's go and see what we've got. Wood we're plenty of, little bit of metal. Oh, we're crawling. And uh, chuck some back in. Better. In there you go. How are we looking? Plenty of wood. Okay. Oh, but it doesn't craft the pieces. I'm going to have to craft them somewhere else, aren't I? Oh, well, that's annoying. Okay. Well, we'll deal. Metal we can deal with. Doesn't 
don't seem to be any pure metal nodes down here. But it's not really an issue. Yeah, we'll keep the rocks. Doesn't matter too much. Rocks. And flint. Metal on you go. Alright, we now need thatch and fibres. Thatch and fibres don't weigh very much, it just takes time to collect them. The main problem I've got is that these lighter coloured green leaves here, actually we can see it just here, there's two plants. The one on the left is fibres, the one on the right is berries, acerola or silk. So there's lots of plants here, but not all of them are equal. Something that you have to be uh, mindful of. As it is, um, I like this island. Uh, it sort of appeared good to me on the face of things. Uh, now I'm not so happy. Mainly because um, I've got my bears and I can't breed them. I'm going to go somewhere else. Uh, but, you know, that's going to be several episodes away from now. The main aim uh, for this episode, obviously, is... Oh, wrong one. We're going to build a boat, a bigger boat, so I can fit my animals on it. Hopefully it's the schooner. If it's not, I'm going to have to build a bigger shipyard. And then I can get off the island. I want to go treasure hunting first. It's the first thing I want to do. I want to go over to... A, I think I've got a, a map for the next segment over. We're going to go and hunt some treasure there, get some gold coins, so that I can start hiring mercenaries. Uh, once I've got some hired help, I will then be able to run the boat more efficiently, because you get them to you know, man the cannons, man the sails, and things like that. So there's a method to the madness. But yeah, first thing is, build a better boat. Take the animals on a treasure hunting trip so that we get gold to pay for people. Once we've got the people, we will then head either north or south into a cooler climate where I can breed my bears. And then we should be able to take on more powerful treasure. Or at least that is the plan. Right. Lots of stuff. Here we go. Schooner. Craft one. And there we have the shell. Now, the next thing that has to be done is obviously, if we were to release this now, it would just sink. It's no good. So we have to build the hull, and we have to build the various bits and pieces that we want um, around the outside, uh, in terms of walls and whatnot. And then I'm also going to need to build some sails. Uh, looking at the surface area, I should be able to fit several animals on that. So that looks pretty good. Right, so let's have a look at our skills. In the seamanship, uh, I am going to want piracy. Now, there's a reason why I want piracy. We're going to have a look at that now. It's the basics of piracy gives you the grappling hook. Now, I want that. That's all I want, just the grappling hook. And that allows you to get salvage. That's what I want it for. Uh, we are going to want sails. I want the medium sails, so it looks like I have to learn the small sails first. So I'm assuming that a weight sail gives you the ability to work better with... doesn't really tell you, does it? Hmm. I'm guessing they perform better under load. I just don't know. So I can go for speed or I can go for weight. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a medium handling speed. Oh, sorry, handling one. So, oh no, there it is there. Yeah, medium handling sail. Okay. I don't know which one I want. Well, then they're both anyway. It's a requirement for later on stuff anyway, as it is. So we now know them all. Uh, where do you build them? Not in here. So we're going to take a few of these things with us. Not so much the metal. We'll head back. Let's see if it is in here. Sail. 
No. Ooh, interesting. Uh, skills sale. It's going to be in a loom. There you go. Uh, loom. I need keratin and metal. <laughs> the thing that I left behind. Alright. Chuck you in there, in there, in there, in there, in there. Uh, let's make sure wood. Okay. Grab that. Thought I had some keratin, mind you. Yeah, I do. Alright. Loom. Requires fibers. It requires keratin. Requires metal, which we've already got. Stone and wood. Wood. Stone. Craft one. Ooh, that's big. Um, let's get a bigger base going. Wooden floor, need a ton more thatch. Yeah, we can do that. We can grab wood, thatch. Craft. Two in there, two in there, and one more. So we need five. I thought it was too bright. But when you look up it's not so bad. So it's the reflection off the sand is just a bit bright. Okay. Loom. Bam. You. Okay. Medium speed sail. Speed seems like it might be a thing. Am I going to need to carry lots of stuff at this point? Probably not. Uh, so we might go a speed sail. Fibers, hide. Uh, I don't think I've got any. Definitely need some wood, metal. Got a little bit of metal. Mm. Should have some hide. Yeah, got tons of hide. Fibers. Have I used all the fibers? Uh, looks like I have. No more metal. Mm, shouldn't need any of that in there. Okay, off we go collecting again. Okay, Ooh, the shovel, that one. Craft one. We'll go and have a look uh, in a moment. Alright, so that is our sail sorted out. And uh, what do we need now for the pieces? Small wood ship deck. Okay, so let's just write that out. We've got a medium ship deck. But don't I need to find the other things? Let's just go medium. Is that all you get? So we get our medium plank and we get our medium deck. So I'm guessing that must do the hull as well. Hmm. Drop off a few things, because I'm going to need to collect more. Grab all that out. Now that I have one sail. Mm, okay. Craft one. Alright, let's go and have a look. Okay. Can I not do the base? Oh yeah, there we go. Bam. Whoa. Is that actually the right one? I'm not so sure it is. Whoa. You gonna let me out? Hopefully I don't get attacked by anything here. Hmm. 
some groaning noise in the background. It's a uh, turtle. Okay. Go down. I want the lower one. Um, snap point. Q is a high one. Lower one. Okay. Oh, I see. Alright. Well, it's good to finally understand that. And you will understand too, I guess, if you don't already, what I'm missing. I need wood and fibres. Of course, I need more fibres. Maybe I put it somewhere. Hmm. Anyway, keep going at this. I'm not in danger of starvation just yet. One of those. Oh, gosh. I have to spend a long time farming materials. Can I build one more? No, need more fibre. Alright, well at the very least I can showcase what I'm doing now. Uh, and then I can skip out and do a bunch of farming off camera. And we'll then continue on. Uh, so where's the walkway down? Right there. Okay. Whoa, rough seas. Yeah, alright. So we had the medium ship deck so it builds the flat parts that you're going to walk on the wooden plank however is what's going to build the various components of your hull and i believe there's a bigger part at the front so there we go we have one piece of our hull i won't put the ship deck in yet mainly because i want to have most of the walls in and see what it looks like before i bother putting the deck in uh, but yeah Alright, I'm going to need to um, do a lot of crafting, or a lot of gathering. Okay, we are back, and slightly encumbered. Uh, as you can see, I've finished the bottom row, and I've got a few more pieces being placed at the moment. Not so encumbered anymore. And before I go too far, let's see what the inner plank looks like. Bam. So that's our lower floor. Nice. And then you get your upper floor. I still need to build something there. I suspect I just... I might have to just use regular planks to do that. Or regular stone ceilings. Not certain. Okay. And so, it appears you use ceilings to, uh, yeah, build the necessary floor. Um, I'm going to want to be able to get up and down into that cavity. Hmm. Well, I'm going to need a lot more floors first. I think what I might want to do is build a little cabin here and have some way of getting down nearby. Right. See how many more floors I can craft. Missed. Nice. Okay. And then we should probably put a stairwell on the other side. Bam. Now we can get out that side. Okay. I need 
more. Uh, one. What are you looking at there? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine in total. Current ship has zero of four, and this gives one point seven. So I could have a second sail. Okay. Uh, yeah, that will do. Nice. Okay. We've got the steering wheel, and we have our sail. Excellent. Uh, sail. Yeah, we're going to want to put the steering wheel around here. So, two forward or just there? Actually, probably just there for now. Because if I stand here with the steering wheel, that's a very quick. Yeah, so I'm easily able to access that after sailing, so if I need to do any just quick manipulation I can. That'll be good. And there's a huge amount of deck space, which is great. Nothing like having a joke about how big my deck is. Anyway, um I can hear you turtle. Alright. How do I find out whether this is gonna sink? Or swim? Release. Ooh, that looked like a lot of damage. Ouchies. Do I damage to those ones? damage there. I saw a bunch of damage numbers. Three damage. Three damage. Oh yeah, we took some damage there. Oh. What do I need? Thatch, wood, fibre and metal. Alright, well, I guess that really does finish the showcasing. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. So yeah, that is, looking down, I'll look up, there we go, better. Here you have it, you have a schooner, one of the medium sized vessels built. Uh, the next one I'm going to have to do is after, I think, the Brigandine uh, and the Galleon are the next levels up, which I'll be looking at um, once I get some treasure, uh, once I get some crew, and do a few other things. But this vessel, it should get me fast, should be able to take me where I need to go and just get there. I'm not planning on doing any combat with it. Uh, I just want to be able to... randomly drop the anchor. Good on you. Yes. Anyway, I want to take this out and I want to get some treasure. We're going to go hire a crew, we're going to go start a new base a little bit north of where we are now, uh, in a colder climate so I can breed my bears, and then I'll go and do harder treasure. Hmm. Yes, back to that original comment. Um, when you build this, a lovely coloured fish down there somewhere. When you do build these things, make sure, I'm guessing it's that little bit there, that's what it landed on, on that spit of land. You need to basically have a clear landing spot for your vessel. Yeah, it's really frustrating, it landed on that. Alright, well, I'll get this repaired up and we'll see you next time on Scarfig in the Atlas. Catch you next time.